Welcome to the Vinyasa Flow Mini Clinic. A staple of almost every American yoga class these days is the Vinyasa Sequence. It is a flow made up of four different poses. Downward Facing Dog, Plank, Chaturanga, and Upward Facing Dog. And although it's commonly used, it's not always given its proper due. The sequence is intended to serve as a meditation in motion, training you to connect to your body and your breath. And the four poses in this flow work together to enhance your core stability, tone the arms, abs, and thighs while improving your flexibility. Join me in a step-by-step -step breakdown of the four parts of this vinyasa flow so our bodies can reap the many benefits. Let's get into it. We will begin our practice in a seated position. Let's start out by connecting to our breath. Bring your eyes to close and begin to observe the natural rhythm of your breath as it flows in and out of your body. Now fill your lungs up completely. Okay, as you exhale, gently drop your chin to your chest. Breathe in and roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Breathe out, roll your head back to center. Let's repeat on the other side. Inhale, ear to shoulder. Exhale, chin to center of chest. Move slowly and allow the breath to invite your motion. The next time that your chin is in the center of your chest, breathe in and lift your head back up. Place your palms on your knees facing down. Use your hands and shoulders to rotate your torso around your pelvis. Breathe in as you move forward, opening the shoulders and expanding through the heart. And then breathe out, tucking the tailbone and rounding through the spine. Empty out entirely on the exhale. Move organically, allowing the movement to stretch your neck, shoulders, chest, spine, and your hips. Make your circle smaller until you return to stillness. From here, tuck your pelvis slightly, engage your abdominal muscles, and extend your tailbone down. As you inhale, you're going to lift your arms up overhead, reaching through the fingertips. Bring your palms together, and then exhale your prayer hands down to the heart center. Bring your elbows together, interlace your fingers, and begin to slowly roll your wrists, drawing a figure eight as you stretch. Reverse directions. Now separate your hands and flick your fingers or roll circles forward and backward with your wrists. Now extend your legs out in front of you and give them a little shake. As you inhale, lift your arms up and overhead, reaching through your fingers. Exhale and hinge forward from the waist with a flat back. Walk your hands down your legs to your feet. Be sure not to round your spine. You want to lean forward with an open heart. Lift from the crown of your head as you breathe in, and then on your next exhale, come into a complete seated forward fold. Your head can drop now. Allow the spine to round a little and settle into this space for a few rounds of breath.
On your next inhale, lift your head and slowly roll up. Okay, our bodies are all warmed up for the vinyasa flow. Let's start with the first of four transitions, downward facing dog into plank. So here's the breakdown. We'll exhale into downward facing dog and then inhale to plank. Let's try together. We'll begin in table pose and take a deep breath in. Press up and back into downward facing dog and exhale. Inhale, shift forward, bringing your hips in line with your shoulders and feet. Plank pose. Exhale, and press back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and undulate forward into plank. Now lower your knees to the mat and spread them wide. Toes touch. Walk your hands to the top of the mat as you lower your belly and rest in child's pose for a moment. Breathing into the back body and letting the arms and shoulders open. On your next inhale, lift up and walk your hands back toward your body. Returning to table pose. Let's move into part two of the vinyasa flow. Plank to chaturanga. It requires thoughtful alignment and strength. You can modify it by exploring with your knees down. Here's the breakdown. Inhale to plank, exhale to chaturanga. Breathe in and push up to plank. Roll forward onto your toes and your shoulders are going to move in front of the wrists. As you breathe out, your elbows bend at a 90 degree angle. Slowly lower your body parallel to the floor a few inches above the mat. Ooh, great job. Now find your way back to table and we'll try it one more time. Inhale to plank, shift forward, and slowly lower down into chaturanga. Great job. Meet me in table. Now for the final transition from chaturanga to upward facing dog. Again, you can modify this transition by resting your knees on the mat. We exhale to chaturanga and inhale to upward dog. Join me from plank pose. We'll take a deep breath in and then exhale, lowering to chaturanga. Inhale, lower the hips, lift your head and pull your heart forward into upward facing dog. Your toes and fingers ground into the earth as every other part of your body lifts up. Expand through the chest while pulling your shoulders downward. Okay, return to table. We'll do that one more time. Inhale to plank. Shift forward. Exhale. Chaturanga. And now breathe in. Pull your heart forward to upward facing dog and hold. Great job, let's rest in table for a moment. We're ready to pull it all together. So here's the final breakdown. We'll exhale in downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Let's go. From table, take a deep breath in with your toes tucked. Exhale as the knees lift off the mat. Move up and back into Downward Facing Dog. Now breathe in and roll forward to Plank. Exhale, lower to Chaturanga. Inhale, lower the hips, lift your head, Upward Facing Dog. Now exhale back and up into Downward Facing Dog. So we can repeat that one more time. Breathe in and roll forward to Plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Let's exhale to Downward Facing Dog and then lower your knees to the earth. Go ahead and make your way to your back and lay flat on the earth. Allow your body to fully relax. Just allow yourself to melt into the mat here. Observe the effects of the vinyasa flow on your entire body. It not only awakens each part of it, the flow also teaches us how to move with grace and strength, guided by our breath. 
Namaste.